Good evening, it is Monday, October 25th, 2021. How's everyone doing out there? <clears throat> where, where do we start? Where do we start? For starters, uh, you know, I'm booked up. I believe that's the reaction of how I how we should all feel right now in Jets Nation. This is how we should feel. You know, yesterday's performance or or lack thereof was just I can't even put it into words. That that's just how bad it is. You can't even put it into words. You know, as Jet fans and how much we love our team, no matter what, do the good and the bad, and we all know the bad has outweighed the good. You know, they're coming off the bye, you know, they're coming off England. You know, the loss to Atlanta was, you know, you know, was awful and everything else. We're coming off the bye. We're playing the almighty Patriots. How many times we have to kiss their feet? <clears throat> so now, so you're thinking, all right, coming out, you know, you're just happy to see the team play. Whatever. And my God, what was that? What was that? I mean, first of all, message to Bill Belichick. You know, we know, we all know you hate the Jets, Bill. We we get it. We all know how much your personal vendetta for the last twenty years has been with the Jets. All right, but it, it's like, come on, to lay fifty-four points. You know, I understand that you're doing your job, so to speak. But come on, man. I mean, Bill Belichick is known for, you know, taking the not taking the foot off the gas against anyone. But you know, deep inside. Deep inside, you know, he he loves it when it's against the Jets. And in recent years, he's had that chance where he just leaves his foot on the gas because there's been a lot of times we played the Patriots where the where he just, you know, that, that we've been blown out. But yesterday was probably one of the worst performances. You know, the team, the team didn't show up to play. They did not. The game was fourteen to nothing before you, before if anybody at Gillette Stadium could t- could go to the bathroom, okay, with a bathroom line, let's say, and then by the time they're out, it's fourteen to nothing, and then right then and there, you could just walk out, game over. I mean, the Jets were non-competitive. They were, you know, forget outclass, forget the usual adjectives, because this this effort, this effort. One in five now. We're one in five. Okay? And for for at least two, maybe three of the losses that among these five, the Jets have been non-competitive. They don't even compete. It's like they don't even want to be there. I'd probably say two of them. The Denver game, I don't know, they even got off the airplane for that. And then yesterday. I'll give them the first Patriot game because at least they were in it for a while before, you know... The lack of offense gassed out the defense. That was the Wilson uh, four interception game. And speaking of little Zacky, now he's hurt. Now he's hurt. So, you know, I mean, a couple of cheap shots by the Patriots. Yeah, I said it. Cheap shots. You know, uh, Lawrence guy takes takes uh, takes him out of the knee, beneath the knees. No call because because he's out of the pocket. I mean, I mean, come on, man. And then Matt Judon, you know, jumps on him like from behind after he's released the ball. I mean, th- I mean, thankfully there was a pass interference penalty, you know, downfield, or else, you know, it was going to be it was going to be no call. And then what? You know, this is the Patriots for you. But any other quarterback, any of the star quarterbacks of the league, get that call. I mean, I understand it's football, but God forbid if the Jet player did it to a quarterback, oh, immediately 15 yards were up in the passer. Immediately. But, I mean, I understand that, I mean, C.J. Mosley wasn't there, and it was deflating. But at least try. At least try. They scored on nine of their first ten possessions. Or whatever it was. It's like they had nothing. You know? All the Jets ever do is play scaredy cat to these guys, man. This is not not Tom Brady anymore. Okay? A rookie quarterback had his best day of his young career. And yet here we are, wallowing in our misery again. 
You know, we got all amped up for the season, right? All gas, no brakes. And man, that got thrown in our face yesterday. All gas, no brakes, right? We're gonna have the strong defense. We're gonna have this and that. Hmm. Strong defenses don't give up 54 points, do they? You know, and they said, you know, Robert Sala went off on his team, you know, on his team in the press conference. I heard a tame, defeated man who just blurted out a couple of expletives. That's all I heard. I didn't see him go red in the face. I didn't see him go angry. I didn't see him, you know. I'm even relieved when we got this guy. Like, all right, an upgrade from Adam Gase. It seems like all the Jets do is just hire these first-time coaches. They don't get anybody proven. Adam Gase had experience, but he was... We hired him six weeks removed after him getting fired in Miami. You know, this is going to be 10 going on now, 11 years without the playoffs. No competitive. I mean, they, they've been irrelevant for the last six years. They, they've just, it's just alarming. It's alarming. We have ownership that doesn't care. We, you know, the GM, the jury's still out on him, but I, I, I don't know. I mean, a lot of fans are like questioning him. You know, you know, we're building from the draft. We're building from the draft. And then you got these unproven guys who have no experience on the field, you know, and, and it's like, you know, these, we understand it's a painstaking, a painstaking rebuild. We know it is, you know, and we're, but we're frustrated. We're sick of losing. We're sick of getting mocked, especially by Patriot fans. You know, they had one stable quarterback for how many years and we've been through God knows how many, you know, they laugh at us. They laugh at us. They laugh at us. And we deserve it. All we've done is kiss this team's feet for the last how many years? It's disgusting. No heart, man. No heart. None. I mean, that was one of the worst games I think I've ever seen. I know we, we've said this many times in the past of a certain game, certain loss that, that happened. But, I mean, we're six games here. But you're coming off a bye you're coming off a bye week and lay that? That's what you have to show? After two weeks of rest? Like, you, you had an advantage to do your homework on this team. We know Belichick's going to be pissed. Belichick was coming off a loss. He's playing the Jets. He feats on rookie quarterbacks. He does everything else down the line. The bottom line is, is that the team didn't show up to play yesterday. You're professional football players, and you get embarrassed. Thank God I only saw the middle of the second quarter. The drive that effectively put the game away was this. A they, the Patriots converted a couple of times on third down. I think it was like three third downs, and then the Coupe de Gras was, you know, a, a, a screen pass. And, and nobody was there. And the, what was the name? Bolden ran in, in for a touchdown. Easy money. 24-7. to seven. Shut the lights. I had to go upstairs. And so I, I had to turn the game off. So out of curiosity, I went and just saw, and I had my wife look at my game pass, saw there was three minutes to go in the game. So I'm like, all right, what the heck? What do I got to lose? But then I realized the score flashed on, on one of those websites I used, and I saw it was 50. I'm like, they laid how much? Like, how many points was that? I was like, wow, disgusting, disgusting. Despicable. Just a despicable effort. You know, we, you know, this is the same, this is the same, you know, us that, you know, same fans that wanted to tank for yet another quarterback, right? Tank for him. Let's tank. How's that working out? You know, we're lucky. Right now we're lucky we're one and five because let's face it, the Tennessee game was a miracle. And if they had their wide receivers in that game, we lose. You know, let's face it, we would lose that game. And even if it was, it was, it took overtime in, in a game that we were the better team, it took overtime to beat them. And a missed field goal for that matter. So, theoretically, we should be with the Detroit Lions right now and not have a win. We were lucky. But it's just, it's a bad, bad flip. It's a rebuild. It's a rebuild. It's a rebuild. That's what I'm going to tell yourself. So we went through an, an awful 2-14 and 14 season last year. And it's it's just... Wow. 
they know how to rip your heart out. They really do. Typical Jets. As they say, same old Jets. You know, and, and anyway, before Zach Wilson went down, his, he's got to stop playing with fire. It's like, it's like this. It's like he's got good footwork. I'm not going to take that away. But he's always, instead of finding the, check it down, find a guy on a slant or an intermediate route, he's always going for the Coupe de Gras. And how many times has it been thrown in double coverage? And how many times has it been intercepted? You know, it's like, you know, extend your drive, man. You got to find your guy. Don't keep looking downfield. I still remember that Corey Davis touchdown in the Tennessee game. I mean, he had to grab that in double coverage. I mean, it's like, again, playing with fire. It's like, it's like, it's one thing to take your shot, but more often than not, they see it. It's, it's, sorry, excuse me. He all constantly in double coverage, constantly. But anyway, today the Jets signed Joe Flacco back. <laughs> a year ago, he was with the Jets, and he went to Philadelphia. Like, with Joe Douglas's connections to Philadelphia, he went and got him back. <laughs> I think it was like some fifth or sixth rounder they got him back for, but you need a serviceable backup right now. We're going to be without Zach for two to four weeks. Imagine if Flacco comes in and shines. I mean, I doubt it. You know, Cincinnati coming in, and then, you know, who only went out and blew Baltimore out yesterday. In Baltimore, you know, Indianapolis, who's starting to, like, come together with Carson Wentz. And then, uh, I forget who's after it. I think it's 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 Buffalo or my... I, I forget who it is, but... But, I mean, goodness gracious, this is... It's 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 mind-numbing. It's mind-numbing how, the, how they didn't show up to play us today. It, it was one of the worst efforts I, I, I think I've seen, as any fan would see. It's like, it's like, why bother? If you're not going to show up like that, why bother traveling to the game? Why bother playing? You know? I give any Jet fan that went to Foxborough, I give him props. I really do. With, you know, paying all that money just to see them play. I give you props. You know, it's, it, it's just... What's there to say, you know? I mean... Uh, yeah. Like I said, 14 nothing before you could, uh, you know, get out of the bathroom. Get out of the bathroom line at Gillette. It's, that's how bad it was. That's how bad it was. You know, I don't really need to detail too much what happened. You all saw it. You saw Bill Belichick run up the score again. We, we, you saw it all. You know? You know, he hates the Jets. That's the reason, the biggest reason why he... You know, thirty-four to thirteen, our thirty, like our thirty-first ranked offense, was going to come back and, and threaten his defense. You know, I would have called the dogs off at forty-one to three. I'm sorry, forty-one to thirteen. That's enough, man. I mean, even even with Mac Jones, it's like well, even with Mac Jones out of the game, couldn't the Packers? It's like, come on, really? Does it need to become to that? Does it? C.J. Mosley was badly missed yesterday, but I didn't expect them to win, but I expected them to compete. And that's, I think, that's the part where, I, like, I'm just angry. We all should be. The journey, I mean, the jury is still out on some of these guys. You know, we don't know. Maybe some of these guys might be traded before, before uh, the deadline. It's just a really, really bad, sad, embarrassing situation. That, that That's what this is. You know, it's, it's you know, not much more you can really say about it. Uh, I'm just yeah, beside myself. I, I, and that being said, I'm going to leave it to here. Cincinnati next week at MetLife, finally home. And uh, let's see how much fun uh, Joe Burrow has uh, with the defense. Anyway, that being said, goose.